Hello, my name is Pascual Petrongo and I'm a marketing student at Jacksonville State University. I'm going to talk to you about a credit card processing company based out of Seattle, Washington named Gravity Payments, along with their CEO, Dan Price. I'm going to talk about their mission statement, along with some of the managerial techniques that may be odd in their industry, and whether or not these managerial techniques can be applied in other, in other firms across the industry. First, let's start with the mission statement. Our mission is to change the way business is done by putting purpose and people over profit. Now, this is a fairly different mission statement for the industry. Most times you can describe a mission statement as one of two things, either a product-based mission statement or a customer-based mission statement. If we were just going to use those two things, then it would be a customer-based mission statement. However, when you see how the company actually ran, along with some of the policies that they use, you kind of have to wonder, maybe it's more of a stakeholder mission statement. The main reason why is how they treat their employees. Their employees are one of the most, this is their top priority. And one of the largest ways that they show this is by what they pay. Two years ago, they implemented a $70,000 minimum salary. This is going to be phased over this three years. So in 2017, this will be the first year that everybody is going to receive a minimum of $70,000 at gravity payments. Now, when this first came out, it turned the industry on its head. Experts were criticizing Dan Price, saying that there's absolutely no way this is going to work. That in five years, this is going to be a case study at Harvard. That everybody's going to wonder why. This is why you can't put socialism into a business. Two years later, Gravity Payments is still up and running. They're doing well. Um, revenues are up. In the first year, they actually gained 55%. They grew 55%. In a normal year, they would only grow about 5 um, and to, as you can imagine, employee turnover dropped dramatically. Their happiness rose. I don't hear too often about employees banding together to buy their CEO at Tesla. But wait, why would a CEO have to get his employees to buy him a Tesla? Well, when Dan Price made the announcement that he was going to give everybody a $70,000 minimum salary, he cut his by about a million dollars. He was originally getting paid a little bit over a million, but he reduced his salary to help with the cost to $70,000. He took the sacrifice for his employees. Now, how often do you hear about that in business? Now, can this work for other companies? That's mainly what everybody wants to know. And the simple, straightforward answer, which most people don't like, is no. This will not work for other companies. And there's multiple reasons. Elements can be used in other firms, but overall, I don't, don't believe there will be another success like Gravity Payments, or another company like Gravity Payments, for that matter. And this is the reason. Most businesses are profit driven. They have shareholders they have to appease. So if a shareholder gets wind of, hey, we're going to overpay our employees, which is basically what they're doing. They're paying them well above the market rate. Yes, it's nice, it's a noble thing to do, but basically they're just taking money out of the shareholders' profits. They're just going to pull their money out. There goes the equity. There goes the company. Now, on a smaller scale, now if a privately owned firm wanted to do this, then they would have to have enough cash flow to actually be able to recuperate the cost to all right, they have to have the money on hand to actually be able to pay these um, the employees. But still, it's going to just cut into the profit margin. Most people don't want to do this. Most people, most business owners, most business-minded people want to maximize their profits. And that's what the industry has been basically made around since the beginning of time. How much money can I make? Now, other reason why this won't work. The media blitz that Gravity Payments received after they made the announcement. Instant media coverage all over. It was basically the best form of advertising they could have gotten. Like I said, they grew 55% in that first year. On a normal year, they only grow 5%. Without that extra revenue, without that extra money, without everything coming in, they wouldn't have been able to keep up. Granted, since they grew so much, they were actually able to hire another 20 or more employees. So it's not like they're actually hurting. They're doing very well. Now, in conclusion, it's still early. This is still the very beginning of a case study. It's very early in business. It's only been about two years. They haven't even fully implemented the $70,000. And we're going to keep up and watch and see how this works out for them. Now, it seems to be working fairly well. Businesses can take something from this. There could be tools to be learned. There can be new tactics that can be used and employed in the business scene. Now, it's early, we're going to have to keep watching, but Dan Price may have invented a completely new managerial study or a managerial type that uh, could be employed in future years.